Hey everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And I'm going to take my lanyard off. And oh, we can do that. Sorry. And we're going to talk to you today about our predictions for the Oscar animations. They come out Here's Monday, January 12th. 13th. It's, like, 13th. it's like next week. Is that crazy? It's crazy. At 5 a.m. Usually it'd be 5 a.m. Yeah, of course. It's going to be um, some crazy time. So... We're actually pretty, we're pretty similar. I think we're really we're close similar. with each other yeah. on what we think's going to happen. Are they with us? Who knows? Who knows really? We're guessing. Really. It's all a guessing game. So let's start with supporting actress okay. or actor over here. There you go. Um, so um, we agree on all of them. Yeah. That it's going to be Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh -huh. Al, Al Pacino, Pacino, and Joe Pesci for The Irishman. Oh, yes. Tom Hanks for Once Upon a, what? Uh, not <laughs> once upon. Be Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> and song from Paris. No. Oh yes. What's it called? A beautiful day. A in the beautiful day. In a, you I'm know. Sorry about that. The Mr. Rogers, the Mr. Rogers, Rogers movie. Um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah. And then song. I forget his last name. I don't know. It's from from Parasite. Parasite. I think they're gonna like Parasite. They should like Parasite. Should Everyone should see, like Parasite. If you haven't it's seen so Parasite, good. you should really go see Parasite. Uh, it's amazing. So I'm thinking they're gonna go that way. Now, who do you think? Who's your favorite? Who do I think is going to win or who's my No, favorite? who's your favorite? Oh, Joe Pesci and yeah, the Irish. Yeah, Joe Pesci's my favorite too. But I do think Brad's going to win. Yeah, probably. If not, usually the Oscars, they don't have a big Asian pool like of voters. And so they're usually the race that usually gets left out. Um, and Hispanics too, I guess. But so this could maybe There's not no happen. no Hispanics on this list. If not, oh, if not, I could maybe see Jamie Foxx for Just Mercy or Jonathan Price for The Two Popes. But Just I don't, they don't like... Good. Netflix that much. They so. don't like Netflix. Maybe uh, they're maybe they're warming up to Netflix. Maybe, but they already have two Netflix nominees. So. Oh well, then they're not going to warm up though. Okay. All right, supporting actress, we've got Laura Dern and Jennifer Lopez and Margot Robbie and I don't know her last name. Yeah, Zhao, Shuzen. What he said and Scarlett Johansson from Marriage Story, Hustlers, Bombshell, The Farewell, and Bomb. Jojo Rabbit. Oh, Jojo Rabbit. Yes. And we're both, are we both the same? We're the exact same. We're both the same. Here's, here's what I'm going to tell you, Oscars. <laughs> Voters, are you listening? Please listen. If you do not nominate Zhao Shuzhen from oh, The Farewell. He's going to be mad, you guys. He's so mad. He's going to be mad. I know you don't like to vote for he Asian really people. That's that racist. Little lady. But I love her. She's How did you so not want to know that movie? And I know. She's adorable. She is adorable. Like okay. So please, vote for this little Asian woman. She's wonderful. Um, she's really super cute. She's wonderful. Uh, okay. Okay. Actor. Actor. We both oh, yeah. said we both said Joaquin Phoenix. We yes. both said Adam Driver. And we both said Leonardo DiCaprio. So this is Joker, Marriage Story, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Then yeah. we had a little. We actually both agreed on the fifth one, which is Taron Edgerton. From Rocket Man. I think he got a boost from his Rocket Man one. But Des is iffy. She put him, but I'm she said iffy. she was iffy. I put him. I'm. I think he got a boost from the Golden Globes. That I'm not sure whether or not it's going to transfer mm -hmm. to the Oscars. Especially because Oscar voting ended the day after the Golden Globes. See? So people are already probably. Who knows uh, what that means? But Des thinks he's going to be Antonio Banderas, which I hope it is. There's our one for Hispanic pain person. and glory. I think it's going to be Eddie Murphy. From Dolomite, From is, my Dolomite is My Name. Another yeah. Netflix movie. Another Netflix? Oh, that's true. But. We don't know. No. Isn't it? We just yeah. need some color up here. I, well, you're not <laughs> wrong. I'm trying to help out. Okay, so best uh, actress, we've got Renee Zellweger in Judy. Charlize Theron from Bombshell. Scarlett Johansson from Jojo Rabbit. Her Marriage Story. Marriage right? Story. Scarlett. Look at her. Okay. Yes. Then we've got Shirsha Ronan from Little, Little Women. And Aquafina from The Farewell. And are we the same? We're yes, the same. Exactly the same. We have never been this close to I know, the same before. Which means we're probably going to be 100% wrong. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, we're usually pretty close and we mix up. Uh, and so for Best Director, we both agreed that Martin Scorsese is like, whatever. You know, he's Martin Scorsese. He's Scorsese. And Quentin Tarantino is the same way. Yeah. And I only put Bong. Sorry, I said Bong. <laughs> um, but Bong Ho... I don't know. Sorry. I can't remember either off the top of my head. But for the director of Parasite, Brilliant. Brilliantly Seriously. directed. Brilliantly. Have Please I mentioned? Please go for Bomb. You should go see that movie if you haven't. Yeah, again, did we watch that? The Parasite. Also, another brilliant direction. Sam Mendes, who already has an yeah, Oscar. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. For 1917. That was amazing. Then we split. Des thinks Greta Gerwig from Little Women. I want Greta Gerwig from I Little Women. I would agree with that. You'll notice the Oscars tend not to like women directors. They're not, they tend not to like them or not. They tend not to vote for them, right? I'm Which is sad. I'm putting her on there. Uh... And then I voted for Takai Watiti for Jojo Rabbit because 
I loved him, and that's a favorite movie of the year. So we didn't see the Jojo oh, Rabbit. So there yeah. you go. Uh, we both left off. No, Bachman for Marriage Story. Oh, yeah. Who had been like one, two, three for a long time. He'd been time, up there a really long time. And Marriage Story is dying out. Yeah, it kind of fell down. It's not the Netflix movie they're going to go after, I don't think. Which yeah. Which is The Irishman right. or even some of these other ones up here. Uh, okay, so now Best Picture. We're the same again. Same. Crazy. There you go. And they are Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Irishman, Parasite, 1917, Marriage Story, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, and Little Women. And we're, we could, I could easily There's see Little Women. There's still two be, open spaces that we could be completely wrong about. It can be five to ten, right? Yeah. So, and they do a really interesting system of voting. But I think that Little Women could easily drop off. Yeah. I feel like even Marriage Story marriage should story be even. dying out. Yeah. The Directors Guild voting for Takai Watiti for their fifth director really helped Jojo Rabbit, which is good. I love that movie. Um, I also could see maybe in here Ford versus Ferrari if they loved it. The Farewell, if we could get some support from the Asian <laughs> community. Because uh, I love the Farewell. The Farewell, um, I would love to see the Farewell. Even maybe Don't Mind Is My Name. If yeah, maybe. If something else again with color. Again yeah. Too. And the two popes I think should be in there, but I just don't think they're going to put that many Netflix movies in it. It um, really is a factor that I don't know if everyone is considering. It's kind of like the Irish and why, why I think it hasn't won as much stuff lately as we thought mm. is that if you saw it in the theater like we did, yeah. you, I was blown away by it. Yeah. Watching it at home for three hours could be a whole nother... Things can happen in three hours when you're at home, right? Your kids are crying, the laundry's well, anytime, done. Anytime you watch a movie at home, it's, I, it's completely more distracting experience for me mm. when going to the theater. And Steven Spielberg doesn't like Netflix movies, as he's told you before. Who? Uh, Steven Spielberg. And so oh, he's a very important true. person in this realm. You yeah. know, he thinks they should be movie movies. But, they, but you know what makes it okay? Is that it was Marty who made one. Yeah. So it's kind of like, gives well, it a lot of validity. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, Marty, you can't argue with that. Uh, so that's what we think. Please let us know what you think. We're really excited to hear about it. We're really for sure. excited for the Oscars to come. Um, Tell us, like, you guys are crazy. It's not going to be so-and-so. <laughs> or please let it be so-and-so because that's how we're feeling, yeah. too. And we'll be back Monday to review what happened. To we'll let see you what know happens. what went on. Here if I'm go. crying, then you know Zhao Shen didn't get nominated. Um, <clears throat> so you'll know what happens. He will serious tears. You I guys know, are going to be serious be tears. But they did that to me last time when I wanted the other Asian woman to win from... Uh, the Matt Damon movie where they got small. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was so good. She was, <laughs> she was so, so good. good. You're right. She was so good. <sighs> There's just so many people to vote for. Makes sense. Some people get cast aside. So, anyway, we won't go back to those days, but no. please let us know what you think. We're excited. Okay. <laughs> All bye. right. Bye.